So I have many, very, many, many fond memories of Guruji. Um, again, I feel very blessed that I was alive during a time when he was, and I was able to spend some time with him, significant amount of time. And on Sunday afternoons, we would get together, all the students and Guruji. And it was really, it was really funny in a sense because you have all these students sitting in Guruji, waiting for people to ask, and people were always a little bit nervous. You know, you have so many questions to ask, but when you're put in the spot, you kind of everybody's just waiting for somebody else to say something. And finally, when someone would raise their hand and ask a question, he always gave the same answers in a way. He would always answer questions with, you take practice, practice, practice. Just practice. Like stop with the fluctuation, the identifications of the mind. Like it all makes sense, but like in the process, you don't know. So you show up, you do your practice, and that's enough. And year after year after year, you start developing these capacities to be able to look at these thoughts. And, and looking back on Guruji now, how at the time was like, he always answers the same question. You do practice, 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 no problem. All is coming. And it makes so much sense in hindsight now. Because as Westerners, we want to know all the answers. We want the syllabus. Okay, so then what's next? What do we do next? So that's why it's, an, it's such an interesting, interesting practice. Because there's always another pose. And you're never going to get it done. And you're never, it's never going to be perfect. But it's something that our ego can play around with, with the right perspective, to see when we're embedded in that asana, when it's really the most important thing that we have to do, and recognize it. And then eventually, hopefully, let it go.